What's going on, everybody? Hope you enjoy my Edge Iconoclast t-shirt. <laughs> if you didn't know, I, I still follow professional wrestling. I know it's scripted, but it's my version of entertainment. And I just love it. Anyway, it's been like several weeks since I've given an update because not much has been going on. And I just don't feel like saying, hey, guys, and then signing off. Um, so I think the last time we left, uh, I was hanging around like 198, 197 and a half, somewhere around there at around 350 grams per day. Um, I think with, I don't know if we talked about the refeed, but we're doing 350 grams a day. Uh, and my refeed was 450 grams a day and we were kind of just riding it out. And overall that I wasn't really hitting any new lows. My average weight was ticking, ticking down like relatively slowly, which was good. Um, but then it kind of stalled. So last week, uh, coach changed uh, my daily macros to 335 grams of carbs a day um, and still maintain the refeed of 450. I'm trying to think if I got this all right. It might have been 350 for a while, but then we went to 335 plus a refeed. I think that's it. Apologize for the confusion, but I don't know. It's all the same. Um, 335 grams of carbs a day with a 450 gram carb refeed every Saturday. Um, and weight was like, and, and right after we made that change, like I dropped about a pound to 196 and a half, which was a new low, but overall still floating around like 197. My average weight was down, I think about 0.6 week over week since the change. He likes what he's seeing. So we're going to leave the daily macros at 335 grams of carbs a day. Um, but the refeed is going to go from 450 down to 435 grams. And overall, like the past week or so, I've just been feeling like really um, beat to hell. Um, so I revisited with him uh, prior to just getting my new training block. Now I was doing a six day run with a one day off type series. Um, we switched to the same training block, but changed the three days on one day off. That seems to like be revitalizing me. The biggest thing I'm noticing is that especially after one of the leg days, my body is crushed to hell. Um, because I'm really pushing. I mean, I push every session, but that session really takes a lot out of me. And then trying to then train for several days in a row after that, my body, like I'm just not having the mind muscle connection. My performance is down. My recovery is down. I'm, I'm just not doing, or at least I don't feel like I'm performing the way I could. So adding in that one extra day where it's like three days on one day off, it gives my body a little bit of reprieve. Um, and I feel like my joints are good. I feel like my performance is better. The pumps are better. The muscle, mind, muscle contraction, everything is better. So we're going to stick with that on the new block that I just received. Um, and I've been tracking everything still, which you can't see right now is on my whoop, just to see what my recovery has been. And probably over the past week or so, my recovery has been down. I don't know why. All the variables in terms of heart rate variability, uh, respiratory rate, all that stuff is pretty much the same across the board. Still been adding a lot of little journal entries that affect the recovery piece. I'm still trying to master this recovery piece, um, but I don't let the recovery necessary necessarily like determine whether I'm going to train or not. It's just something I'm monitoring. And I'm also, I'm trying to not give myself a placebo effect of like, oh, my recovery was in the yellow today. So therefore my performance is going to be down and I start performing less. Um, I always try to perform as high as I can. And I really let my body determine what that's going to be. So if I'm struggling with something, I can tell right away, like it's not here and I'll make adjustments and tweaks um, based on how I'm feeling. So Overall, my right shoulder, which has been an issue, has been pretty good. Um, still being careful with my right hip and my lower back. It's still a little tweaky. I really need to get to a chiropractor and get adjusted on top of the fact that maybe I need some deep tissue work that I am long overdue for. Um, so I think I'm going to hit up my buddy who did my last prep, Jim Jennerich uh, from ProStar um, up in Matawan to, you know, do some work and start, you know, breaking up some of the muscle adhesions that I currently have. And outside of that, uh, I'm officially at this point about 23 weeks out from doing the first show in August down in D.C., which I think is the OCB President's Cup or Presidential Cup. So looking forward to that, and we're just going to keep on moving. I think at this point, uh, I'm going to start going back to the you know a public gym every now and again, especially on the weekends. Um, I have some clients of mine who want to get some training sessions in, and just some buddies. I think it'll be a good way to break things up and then just, you know, get re-motivated by working out with them. So that's my check-in for right now, which is March 2nd. Let's see how things go.